So yeah, we've got a big hole and we've got a couple of uh, excavators here doing some work. Uh, we've got a pile of earth up there, up top, and, and yeah, work is well underway here. Good day. Okay, it's day number three on the job site. I'm really excited. And look at what we got now. Okay, we have the tamping machine. We have the base layer of gravel. It's not finished on this side. We talked on the phone earlier and it's about, you know, there's still 10% of it missing on this side. So they'll get that. And then we'll have, next is forms, I guess. So it looks like they're going to do a single pour. steel spacers that are part of every construction job and I really didn't know first of all how to affix them to the, um, the form and second of all that they came in different sizes so um, as he told me yesterday the bottom ones because of the taper in the wall of course the bottom ones are I don't know about 20 centimeters and the top ones about 10 their final height adjustments で、200、200だじゃ。そうですね。あ、200だな。オッケー。大丈夫。前後が結構違いましたね。あ、まちょっとです。こっちからね、こっちは水泳で一緒に見てあるから。うん。これ。もうちょいした。もうちょい。もう
がそれを上げたい上げたいあじゃあそれを下げるそこのほらIt's really not as far along as I had hoped. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't care. It's their plan, really. Um, but I had fully expected them to have all the rebar tied, and then the second form in the the inside, the inner form in, so that they could just the pump would pump truck would show up tomorrow Monday, and uh, start pumping. Okay, well, there's nothing much more to see then, <laughs> unfortunately. We've got a whole bunch of extra rebar, got lots more pipe. Um, in Japan, they always tend to use the aluminum pipe, or sorry, uh, um, galvanized pipe for um, the outside of the formwork. So I was talking yesterday about how they're going to get the uh, the galvanize or the um, rebar off of the floor, and they've got these handy dandy little um, risers. Uh, there's two levels. These the the white riser supports the higher level of rebar. The gray riser supports the first layer of rebar, and then over here. Over here, they've just got a piece of wood on the first one, and then the gray one is there for the second layer. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we've got the same thing. And then the rebar itself, if we start in the very corner, the rebar itself um, is all just very straightforward. It's all tied manually. With a little twirly thing. It's all marked out. It's got a chalk line at the height. I guess that's the height of the concrete. I guess they come in here and they just pour to the line. On the sides of the wall, um, which will be the end of the wall when it's poured, uh, they've cut this plywood, this yellow plywood, they've cut it into the taper shape that the final wall will um, take, but it's about two inches wider than the, the actual wall will be. And you can, the, the yellow board behind it which is going to you know, hold it all in place is um, wider than, you know, two inches wider than where the moldings are. We're looking at a full set of forms now with everything secured. They've got the proper scaffolding there to um, manage the pour when the concrete pump truck arrives and they'll have big heavy hoses. They've got everything in place. Down below they've got two layers of rebar on the base. The base is 1.3 meters long. The height is 2.0 meters high plus 100 meters of uh, 100 millimeters of thickness in the base. Ah, okay, this is new. Um, I, was, I was wondering what is to prevent the wall from, you know, moving back and forth this way. They just had five or six little pieces of uh, two by two, it looked like, really. 
uh, nailed to roots or, or um, the, the stump of a sm sapling. But now they've swapped those out and they've, they've got some real um, you know, hardcore strength in here now. Um, they've brought in some posts um, and anchored everything very securely. They've got chains and uh, um, shackles to, to adjust the tightness. So they're not taking any chances. This isn't going to fall over. At the bottom here, we've got the, um, the wall form uh, spaced properly. We've got the, the rebar spaced properly. And the rebar is held up at two levels by the two level hold up thingies. And yeah, this is all looking very, very good. Exactly what I had hoped for and expected from Mr. Kabata. The concern is, how do I replicate this all if I do it myself? There's a lot of hardware here. Gonna be somebody up here walking along. They're gonna have to have a vibrator probably um, that'll they'll pop down in here. And it's a single pour, saving us money. The the pump truck is like eight hundred dollars per outing, and so they're saving me eight hundred dollars on having a one pump truck come one time. When I bring her up here, I get, um, I always have to worry about ticks, ticks and fleas. And uh, they are, I mean, with bo this used to be wild boar country, and they, um, ticks and fleas are rampant here. We, I couldn't get here this morning for the poor, but there's, uh, there it is, the finished, well, it's really not much to look at from here. Ah! <laughs> ちょうど今かけ洗ってたらこれ、ポテロステリーは上さんが来たから。上さん。うん。で、今上見てる。嬉しい。私満足と伝えて。ちょっと待ってて。2週間ぐらい、2週間ぐらいどのくらい置くか